My year at uh, the ERA is being spent devoted to two projects uh, exploring some of the implications of uh, this research. One project is to uh, pull together a book on which I've been working, unfortunately, for many years, uh, but hopefully will be completing soon, that attempts to look at all of the most central domains of uh, uniquely human knowledge that children form over the course of the primary school years. So knowledge of natural number and arithmetic, uh, knowledge of uh, reading and spatial symbol systems, uh, beginning knowledge of geometry, and also common sense knowledge, though it isn't taught in school yet at that point, common sense knowledge of the physical world, of the world of other people and their mental states, uh, and of the social world, including uh, the uh, origins of our intuitive systems of ethics and, and morality. See if I can, uh, in this book I attempt to uh, account for all of these developments in children in relation to their developing language. So uh, the goal of that book is to see whether it's possible to craft a coherent account uh, based on the idea that humans uh, share immensely uh, in our cognitive endowments uh, systems that are shared by other animals, but that we then use language to go beyond them, especially by harnessing language as combinatorial power. The second goal, though, is an empirical goal. Uh, it's to pursue a research project that I've begun over the last uh, few years with collaborators in both cognitive science and economics uh, to test this theory in a different way by seeing whether we can use insights from laboratory studies of cognitive development to create programs that will enhance education for all children, and especially enhance education for children uh, living under the most impoverished circumstances who are at highest risk of failing uh, to learn in primary school. So we're conducting a series of experiments, uh, primarily in India, uh, focused on children living in the poorest slums of Delhi. Uh, and we've developed for them games that they can play in social groups as preschoolers that exercise the basic cognitive capacities that laboratory research shows they and uh, all other children have possessed since infancy, but exercise them in social contexts conducive to the use and uh, development of language. Uh, and then we follow these children as they enter elementary school to see whether those uh, uh, kinds of experiences sh suggested by uh, the hypotheses that have followed from basic research, whether those experiences will have concrete effects on their lives, enhancing their abilities to learn mathematics and other subjects in school. We don't yet know what the outcome of these experiments will be. Of course, one of the really exciting things about research is uh, we don't know as we uh, go into it what the uh, ultimate findings will be. But I'm hopeful that uh, the field of developmental cognitive science may have progressed to the point where we can begin to at least ask these questions uh, and get evidence uh, from experiments that bear on them. If we do, that evidence could be uh, important in two ways. One, it can contribute to a basic understanding of human minds and how they grow. But two, it, can, it, it I hope, will be, able, will be able to harness that understanding to actually improve the lives of the children uh, uh, living under uh, the most difficult circumstances.